Hi, this is uh, Serval. This is my uh, first broadcast. My son's helping me. He's uh, doing the cameraman. Um, anyway, I've been watching you guys for about a year and a half. Uh, some of you guys are real helpful, uh, some not. <laughs> anyway, I uh, wanted to show you what I have and what I'm doing. And uh, This is uh, basically my first cell that I built. Um, I'll pull it out and you can see it. It's uh, basically a... You can't really see that, John. But anyway, that's a neutral and I'm not no neutral. There's a positive and negative tube in here about uh, 11 inches long um, Worked okay um, This is the second cell that I built, I built. Um, You can't see inside it, but basically what it is it's uh, I saw some other guy that just recently did this It's done with washers um, There's actually a positive uh, washer two neutrals a negative and then on the other side, there's two more neutrals and a positive. Um, I have seven of those um, in parallel circuit in here. Didn't work a whole lot. Wasn't a lot of surface area. I thought the washers were too small. Um, this one is one that I built uh, probably about six months ago. Um, if you guys are just starting this out, always make sure you have a bubbler. Um, go into the bubbler through a tube. Let it bubble out and come out here for safety reasons, obviously. Um, I also have a spark arrestor that I have hooked to my torch, which I'll show later. But um, this is a positive plate, neutral plate, and negative plate. Uh, produces great. Um, I think I was getting about 36 ounces in about 20 seconds, so whatever that is per minute. Um, worked pretty good. Um, wouldn't run a car or a small engine, obviously. Um, this is a booster that I am building for my brother. Um, I'm actually going to put this in as diesel um, for a booster. We we actually hooked the other one that I built up that uh, had the neutral plate. This one doesn't have a neutral plate yet. Um, and it worked great. You could barely smell the diesel fuel and uh, gas performance went up. So uh, this is what I had. I've been working with uh, capacitors um, and some inductors and you know, trying to get the resonant circuit and get it tuned, which I'm having a hard time with. I'm a mechanical guy, not uh, electronics. But I have some help, so uh, still working on that. But last night, um, I built a cell a couple weeks ago. And uh, similar to Stan Myers, who's should be everybody's hero that's doing this. Um, still with you, Stan. Um, anyway, this is, uh, let me uh, get over here. This way. Here uh, you're too close, John. Because the lighting's kind of bad in here. But this is uh, my uh, version of... You know, kind of what Stan had. I'm running uh, seven tubes. Uh, I believe they're about 17 inches long. Um, was playing with it. You know, obviously getting frustrated. Uh, you've been working on it for a year and a half, and uh, I couldn't get anything. And finally, last night, I just happened to uh, do some certain things, and uh, the thing took off like crazy. Um, I'm running 12 volt input, um, probably less than an amp. Um, output is a lot higher voltage, obviously, because I'm going through a transformer like Stan did. Um, and again, I think I'm running like two amps. My my voltage, or I'm sorry, my amp meter isn't calibrated that well. It goes from zero to 60, and it doesn't have a lot of fine definition to it. But uh, I'm going to show you guys what it's doing. And this is, uh, to be honest with you, it's, it's probably running at less than a third of its capacity. Um, and it's producing great, so uh, uh, we're going to go for it, right, John? Why don't you shut off for a minute? I'm going to hook everything up, and we'll show them what it's doing. All right, there we go. All right, so I uh, got everything ready to go. Um, this is it. Right now, like I said, we got uh, seven cells. We're going to run one because I don't have all the wiring done yet. I just found this out last night. Um, so here it is. We're going to turn it on, and uh, hopefully you can see it. Hopefully the lighting's not too bad. Is it bad, John? Uh, we'll do the best we can. We'll turn our light on. All right. So here we go. Hold on, sweetie. All right. It's on. I don't know if you can see it to do it, but uh, John, you're way too close. You can see it's uh, doing pretty well there. Um, when I had the other ones hooked up, the about three quarters of it went all the way down white. Um, it's producing pretty good. I'm real happy. She's not even tuned yet. Uh, so you can see the amp right here. Like I said, it's not finally calibrated. Show them that. You're in the video. Uh, well, 
broken. Or one amp, maybe. The longer it runs, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but she gets, she's producing, eventually it goes down about three quarters of the way. Uh, I'm assuming once I get the other ones hooked up, the whole thing will be white and will be uh, producing massive amounts of hydrogen. So that's where I am right now. We're going to build a, a cabinet for it and uh, get all the wiring together right and uh, go from there. we got a three horsepower engine. Already got the car off of it. We're going to try to get her going. So uh, that's where we are. We'll see you next time. Uh, anybody has any questions or any advice, I'd appreciate it. Um, not really sure I'm turning the, getting the resonant circuit. Oh, one thing I wanted to add, um, right now I'm not pulsing it. Um, I do have a pulse modulator, um, but it's not hooked up to it yet. The only uh, pulse I'm getting right now is off the DC voltage that I'm producing. Um, anyway, 12 volts in, a lot of volts out, real low amps, high production. I'm happy to see it. It took me a long time to get here. Bye. Thanks for watching.